It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to another exciting show of Dad's Lads and Fabs. Very exciting episode today. Today is Mickey's final episode of the show since he's leaving us for another podcast. Oh, that's right. Mickey's got his own fucking podcast now. Wants to leave us. Nobody knows why. Oh, we're going. Is it creative differences? Oh, he wants to talk about the paranormal. One par- one podcast is not good enough for Mickey. No, it's not. He's going and opened his own podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We'll start by wishing him the best of no luck whatsoever with his show. I hope it fucking flops because he'll never be as successful as this show. This show's got it all. We've got mugs. We've got business cards. We've got hats. Oh, and let's be honest, man. Are we sharing the sponsorship? Because Ghost of Wear can fuck right off if you feel like they're going to sponsor his show and ours at the same time. No, bollocks to you, mate. Bollocks. I, I honestly, I, don't, I wash my hands with you. Oh, Niall's getting upset. Bollocks with it, mate, I tell you. Mate, maybe Niall can start paying the £20 a month. Oh! I have to pay for StreamYard. Oh! Let's talk about finance. <laughs> and £18 a month for Bollocks. Oh. So £38 oh. a month I pay for this podcast. So, suck you, bitch. Listen. There you go. Oh, boy. I, I listen. I've never asked for any of the funds that you get from YouTube. We make at least about a thousand pound a video. I don't get any of that. <laughs> Fucking wish. I, I, I know it. I know you. I know it honestly. I know you're swizzing me somewhere, mate. But Mickey's got his own podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That honestly, though. On a side note, fucking rude. Mickey. First of all, on a side note, on a serious note. Tell us about your new podcast and why it's about and what it is for. It's not started yet. It's about ghost people. So it's nothing to do with this. So you, can't, you won't get many guests with having ghosts on the show, mate. It'll be a bit of a quiet podcast. I know. Yeah, they, they're going to sit there and I'll be looking at them and they're just... There's no I bet, be, honestly, I'll be, I bet to be a guest. I'm just saying. You won't be a guest. You don't, you're not in a paranormal donut. Fuck's sake. No, even so, I'll just be... You, you've got to be like... It's only right of passage. <laughs> it's like me being a guest on a no smoking fucking conference. I don't. Brilliant. Sh- That's how me. you see me, is it? That's how you see me. Just as a, <laughs> you see me through my job. That's it. No <laughs> bollocks, you mate. Well, there you go. My face is well red. I'm burnt today. These are our cups, ladies and gentlemen. New sponsorships. We have two available. <laughs> They are on eBay at the moment. Go to any yeah. of our socials. The link. Oh, are... yeah. Mickey gets the money for those. Who paid for ask... them? <laughs> Fuck I don't ask for the money. You right. just sit there and, pr- and fucking select. Hey. I'm coming in. I it's do your send podcast. good. Your I do send podcast. good. Oi. I send Oi. good gifts. I send Dude. good gifts though at yeah. Christmas. Right. Mickey's using his cup for drinking out of. Let's see what Niall's cup is for. Moisturizer, oh, Clinique, okay. credit card. Do that quite quick so you can't see the details. All right, let me take them details down. Driving license. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's got a storage mug. Um, it looks good though. It's on the it's black, so it's all good. Three little bottles of something for blood sugar tests, oh, testing my. the blood sugars, and that's it. So now I use it's a storage mug. Yeah, but. It says, boo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, number one fitness podcast. That's right. We got the number one fitness podcast in the UK. We we still are. Being two fat fucks, right, that are trying to lose weight. However, we still got the number one fitness podcast, so UPTs need to step up your game, is what I'm going to say. Yeah, because they're too busy in your women. So... Yeah. yeah, too busy uh, preying on their clients. Yes, He's mar- very much so. Yeah, but hey, hey. So, Niall, did you vote today? It's not for you to find out, is it? My vote is up to me. It's up to me. I, I didn't ask who you vote for. I said, did you vote? That's all I asked. 
I'm not going to go into the details for you. Honestly, I'll be honest with you, and I, I've been, uh, I am, I'm a true fan of the wealthy people, you know. However, no, I didn't vote. I don't fucking want to vote. Oh, wow. You can't no. speak. Zip it, bitch. <laughs> Did you, I, mate, no. On a, I voted. I put my uh, thing on fucking Instagram. <laughs> I, your polling card? <laughs> no, that's on Twitter. I, I'll, I'll okay. tell you, I'll tell you why. Like, <laughs> I know they say every vote counts and it all, like, the way I see it, right, is that, I was having this discussion earlier, and, yeah, the way that I see it, whoever you vote for, all the stuff that they've been saying over the past few weeks about what they'll promise you and tax cuts and this increase and that and inflation will go down and all that jazz, mm. it's, do you know, like when someone's trying to get themselves out of trouble and they're going, "I'll do this for you," "I'll do this for you," and they're trying to they're trying yeah, to basically yeah. dig themselves out of a hole. Yeah. Like it'll all disappear within a few. What whoever gets the seat, all those promises will go fucking out the window. So, and don't get me wrong, I am very, very interested in politics. Very interested. However, I sit on the fence of I choose not to vote because I don't believe anybody wins, no matter who you vote for. Well. I suppose you've got a. There'll be certain aspects of people, their their manifestos that are important to you. Like a lot of it is not important to me. What they talk about. There's certain specific uh, things that I'm interested in. And if that party will, you know, um, do what I want, then I'm more inclined to vote for them. But you know, let's just say in the morning there will be a new prime minister. I believe I will be Cheers. shot. Nigel Farage! Yay! <laughs> I, I wish. Now nah, they'll be second, oh. I think. I think Labour will win. Tories will do you be think, third. Do you think Reform will be second? Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, I, don't know any, I don't know any poll that puts Reform at least below second, like second or below. It's always they are second. very, very close. Um, yeah. Looking at the manifestos, though, I don't know... I think it's going to be close, and I think it will be down to the the few hundred votes. I I I do believe that people are fed up. I believe even the Conservative Party are probably fed up with Rishi Sunak's sort of manifesto and you know well, we the same. Old... We didn't vote him in, did we? The last no, prime minister. That's true. Went, we didn't vote them in. No. Morris was the last one we voted I mean, in. Never two. Honestly, no one's voting Liz Truss in. No, <laughs> you know, no one wanted her around. Was it ten minutes? <laughs> she yeah. didn't even. She didn't even change the sheets after Boris. No, That's what she I'm saying. Just sniffed them and carried on. She yeah. honestly, she yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, Boris jumped in there for Conservative, which would have gave a lot of height. Yeah, towards um, the end for the the. You know, to get the polls mm -hmm. up, but I don't think. Uh, to be fair, I've only see. I saw one post today from Boris. That's all I've seen. So I've not mm -hmm. seen it anywhere. So if he is back on the conservative train, I've not. He seen was. That. I mean, he yeah. he did a public. So he did a public event the other night, and he very very much flagged on the conservative train, and he said, "Listen, your only option is for success is to vote conservative." <laughs> Go to work. No, stay home. Go to work. Stay stay home. <laughs> hey, listen, we need that back. We need a little bit of lockdown back. Do you know there's such thing now is called lockdown nostalgia? What where people are reminis yeah. uh, people are reminiscing about actually lockdown wasn't that bad. You know, taking it back into a time when we're all, you know <laughs> with our pants. <laughs> <laughs> with your Trying pots and cameras on a Thursday, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, doing quit, doing YouTube quizzes. You know, they brought the the people's families and friends together. Oh yeah, hundred percent. There was like a, a sense of community then. That mm. again, now it's just it's just like, oh, I hate my neighbour. You know, I don't like you. Don't talk to me. I know. Back then it was be again. Back then it was like, if you need anything, just ask. I've got loads of loo roll. Just, just knock on. I'll, I'll sort you out. Sell them on eBay <clears throat> back in them days. Wow. When we first started this podcast, obviously during lockdown, I, do you remember when I got the parcel of someone else's TikTok Lural? No. I you don't, don't remember? 
No. So I got you know the you know the big crate for Leroy you get off TikTok. Seventy nine. Well, of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got I got someone else's of that, and I think it was like one hundred and forty toilet rolls just oh. delivered to the door on a Saturday morning, and all the delivery guy just literally pressed the bell, put them on the doorstep, and walked off. He was like, you're like looking over, can't see him. <laughs> it's too tall. Oh, he's gone. He's gone at that point. So I was like, well, I don't want to do this. But there was no name, address or anything on them. Oh, there was nothing. You just dropped them off. So yeah, I survived lockdown without having to use my hand. I mean, I did use my hand a couple of times. Yeah, that week was, was difficult, wasn't it? But you had the hoover with you, so it's fine. Oh, God. So yeah, like, I don't know. I mean... We'll see what tomorrow brings. I feel like I feel like Mr. Starmer will. I feel like he is going to scrape it. Yeah. And hats off to all the people working at the ballot stations tonight and I counting all there. those. I me too. There. Do you know how you much money me? you get for that? Yeah. Yeah, it's like hundreds and training. Hundreds. 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 And paid, paid training, time off work. It's like wow. I should have done it. A week off, a week off with stress. <laughs> yeah, counting all them little fucking boxes. <laughs> they're gonna be yes, they're gonna be they're gonna be counting late into the night, late into the night. Oh, right, we won't find out probably till like ten o'clock tomorrow morning. But there'll be like ideas no, no, it, throughout it, the night. It, it will be yeah. So uh, roughly about four o'clock. I reckon about four o'clock in the morning there'll be a clear yeah. indication of who's got. I, I remember when. So I remember when the whole Brexit. And I remember waking up at set times through the night watching that, going, fuck me, it's going, it's going, it's going. And then, yeah, it went. And then, turns out Brexit probably fucks us more than we thought. I remember, that's because it wasn't done properly. I, I remember mm. listening to, um, in, in my earphones, uh, I think it was Talk Sport at the time. I must have gone to sleep just listening to stuff. And uh, you, have, you fucking uh, talk sport. You are yeah, a dick. <laughs> yeah, they're they're wankers now, but I used to like them back in the day. I ain't like I haven't listened to them for years. Who who are we talk about? Ronnie Arani or whatever his name is. Yeah, well, oh, he's not on it. Alan Brazil Breakfast Show. No, he's not. Wankers. He left, fucking, he left long time ago. Most of the the uh, angry fuck. They're so angry. They all. They are so angry. <laughs> I, I stopped listening to them because they always abusing Arsenal for no reason all the time, and it used to fucking piss me off. Anyway, I mean, I woke I woke up about four or five in the morning, and obviously I still had the the, the voices in my ears. And first of all, I thought, "What the fuck is that? Who's talking?" <laughs> then I remembered I got fucking earplugs in, and uh, and they were talking about Brexit. They said Brexit. They've done it. It's it's voted yes and i'm like what at four or five in the morning i'm i'm fully awake by this point i thought wow and i went downstairs I, and put the news on i remember it well and i i feel like people i feel like people are driven to gambling people you know when people are going do you know like mystery boxes yeah. people want to know what the mystery box is so they just like they're like 100 million or mystery box they're like I'm still going for the mystery box. <laughs> so with with Labour, they're going. Well, we've had Conservative for so long, and like I don't know what people think they're going to get from like from Labour that Conservative are not delivering. I get they have completely different manifestos, completely different views on migration, different views on a lot of that political agenda in terms of tax and the wealth and tax, you know, increase of housing and all that stuff. And I get there's all different opinions of who wants what. Either way, nobody like there is somebody going to lose with the results tomorrow. Someone's going to be losing. I just don't people. I just I just think the majority of people go. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's go for a gamble. We're going to gamble. We don't know what's happening. We haven't had we haven't had Labour since Tony Blair. <laughs> like, let's give it a go. <laughs> yeah, I think people. I think people are pushed like with Brexit. They were pushed too far, and they just thought, fuck it. You know, let us yeah. control everything about our country. Don't let Europe decide our laws, what we want to do. And I think, I think maybe this time, if reform win, then maybe the country's been pushed too far with all the with all the things that are happening in this country, which I won't talk about because Niall will get angry with me. No, and it's not. I'm not going to know because I'm not going to get angry because I, I believe that it, obviously now it is a very. Migration is a big stature of the country at the moment. People are very, very, not, I will not say worried, but more concerned of what is happening. 
you know, mm. France, for example, their laws are basically get them gone, let them pass through, let that, them go. That new woman, like that new woman, apparently is going to win the election, and she's she's deporting everybody. Same as Holland, same as Norway. So many countries now have had enough of whatever, and they want to concentrate on their own country. Mm. And you know, for me, that does that's not racist. If I lived in Egypt, I would be like live how Egyptians live because I've chose to live in their country. And it's the same yeah. if I went if I went to Sweden, if I went to Peru. You know, you. I think you have to adapt to their country, their laws. I don't think I. I have the right to come there and say, "Oh, look, country, you do as I say," because they're gonna say, "Fuck off." You know. But then we've been such a multicultural country for a very we, long time. We have, yeah, I, I do agree. For with a that. very, it's, very long time. It's not but a bad I don't, thing. I don't think it's about culture. I think it's more. I think it's more about the numbers. Obviously. Yeah, it's more about the numbers. Obviously, the we numbers. are we are we are full, um, and at the same time, it is how is it enforced? It's not being enforced as they said it would be. You know, at the end of the day, you've got hundreds of. People. I mean, they're like they described it this morning that they are literally waiting for Labour to get in, so they can literally ferry across because Labour based Labour's manifesto is basically. We're not going to do. There's not. It's not. It's not in our policy to do anything about it. Please come in our country and take all of our. All of our so Labour's. Money. Yeah. La I think Labour's. Yeah, I don't think Labour stands for anything against migration. They haven't said much about it. They haven't really outlined what they are going to do or what their intentions are. The Rwanda fights that were so you know hell bent on being taken off. Bear in mind, these Rwanda fights are not going to be taking the amount of passengers that people think they're going to be taking. No, you know it was sort of like a flight a month or something like that, and you know and what they get at the other side. So I don't think that that's going to be a big, a big change. I don't think that I don't think well, they're not going to happen if Labour gets in. Those flights will be cancelled. I, I do worry for for my children and for my own sanity if Labour get in, um, because I do worry about certain things, safety being one of them really, and and how this country will be in a few years, and I, I'm very worried. But I know that Labour will win, and then they're they're oh, very, yeah. it, they're, very, they're very weak. They're very pro everything that you you have to be pro about, um, and that's how they're getting their votes, I believe. And unfortunately, but it's also divide people, and conquer, isn't it? It is that as well. Yeah, I mean, that's you have yeah. you have these other parties that are very, you know. They're there to distract people. People might say or not, but parties like Reform, they're not there to succeed. They're honestly, they're not. They're not there to make a difference. Never know. <laughs> <clears throat> no, Lib. Come on, fucking Lib Dems for Christ's sake! People have been backing them for years. Lib Dems ever got anywhere? Nope. No. Like, imagine if you, you had a if you had a Tory and Reform coalition, that could work. If they if it, if Labour don't get majority. That would never work. They wouldn't do it. Fuck no, would that happen? Fuck in a million years, would that happen? Nigel Farage in the brain down in the street. <laughs> I mean, worse things have happened. Let's just say that. Let's not talk about people, but worse things have happened. Hey, I don't think. Um, I like Nigel Farage. I think he's all right. Went in the jungle. <laughs> I I believe. I mean, fuck no. Matt Hancock went in the jungle, and you know. Oh yeah, he got that's, that's as it all. So, <laughs> but. <laughs> At the same time, I don't know. It's one of those things that's going to... I'm not listening to too much about manifestos. I'm more interested in in the weeks coming. So whoever wins tomorrow, what happens in the weeks ahead? If Conservative do win, and they do scrape it, and I mean scrape it by a fucking, like, fucking hair, like, nothing will change. It'll carry on as it was. Nothing, like, they've got another six years. Yeah. If Labour do it, I believe dramatic changes in their favour will take place straight away. So, tax of wealth, those kind of things. Because it's all about pulling back the numbers. It's all about pulling in the money. It's all about throwing up more and more affordable housing everywhere. So, that lost countryside that we've all been talking about that we don't have anymore will soon go, let's put up more houses. Because that's, te that's essentially what we need. We need more housing for the people that don't have housing. 
and they need to they need to roll back the pennies in. Mm. So I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. Tune in next week. Tune in next week <laughs> when we have when we have Keir Starmer on our show as the new prime minister. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. but again, my reason for not voting is purely because you don't trust. I don't. Man. I yeah, and it's not you know. I definitely have a political. I have a political voice. I have a political brain in terms of you know what we get and what happens. However, mm. I don't believe that anybody across the board is doing anything out of pure goodness of their hearts. Well, you can see that by the fact that nothing really ever good happens although the first the first four years of tony blair i think is probably the best prime minister we've had for many many years i, I remember those the fuck the fuck yeah. <laughs> and i don't i don't like tony blair i think tony blair should be in prison because he's a war criminal along with yeah, yeah. w bush he's an evil man tony blair the evil man that man is evil he is. He's, he's an awful man. And if, if people listening don't like that, then uh, go give him a coddle. But, yeah. But, I, you know, I, I that was the first time I voted was for Tony Blair. What was that? Back, 2000? Back, no, 2000. 97. 97. 97. Yeah, I was, I, was eight, I was 18 then. And Have so you voted me, every time? Yes. Politics was very much... I enjoyed watching it because you had all the, you had on the telly. That's all they had for ages. All the results were coming in, and you saw was it John? Was it John Major then? John Major. Obviously, the Tories had lost. They have to go to see the King and say, "Yeah, I'm I'm resigning." And then you saw Tony Blair going into where the building they go to, and they go and see um, the Queen at the time, the and said, "Yeah." It. I'm now going to be your prime minister. I will serve you, blah, blah, blah. And then they come down to Downing Street. And I remember him coming down. And I watched all that for hours. I like all that shit. It's a bit like the royal stuff they have on the telly, you know. Because it's a it's a historic moment, you know. Whether you like him or not, or you like the occasion or not, it's still historic. To watch. I feel like we should give royalty a go. Give it back to the crown and see yeah, what let, happens. Let the king fuck everybody off. Go on, child. <laughs> I honestly worse. think they should have. They it should go back to the Crown and Royal Council. Hmm. I don't like. They should have definitely have. I don't know. Give somebody else a go. You know what I'm saying. Give them the ball for once. Let them have. Let them have the advice. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's work for other countries. Yeah, there is a few royal families that run the country, isn't there? Around yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worked for other countries, you know. I, 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 I mean, national service. Fuck me. Bring that back. Bear in mind, like, I would say, wanted. I, I'd do it if obviously I don't. I'm not of age anymore. Fuck no, me. Sixteen to eighteen, it was going to be. Fuck me. Bring it back because I tell you now, it would definitely, definitely turn a major, like vast majority of young men's heads into men. They would get their heads out of the fucking gutter, and they would say, "This is no." Although I believe now we have, we're definitely growing a stronger generation of men currently, but at the same time, there's still a lot of little bitches out there. Hey, I'm this... Generation X. We were the last generation of real people. Bollocks! What you? Bollocks! What you a Z? You a Z, yeah? No. You had X, Z, Millennial. Oh, Fuck, Zed, yeah. Fucking snowflake, cabbages. That's what they all are now. So, <sighs> I don't know what they... What are they? What else are they? There's other names. I can't remember what they're called. Millennials. I don't know. Millennials. It's definitely millennials. X and Z, and there's some others. You yeah. see them on TikTok. All these 15, 16-year-old kids getting offended by everything. And it's like, what generation are you? <laughs> the ge well, it's the self-entitled generation. That's what that is. It is, yeah. It's good the, luck to them. The... Good, good luck to them because <clears throat> I'll be I'll be dead by the time you lot fucking do anything in your lives. So sorry, I'm a bit moody <laughs> today because I'm I'm sick of this country. We can tell people it's political Wednesday, political Thursday. <laughs>
Yeah, I want to oh. move, move to a different country. Sick of this professional. It's not. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people say that, but it's not all. The grass is not always greener. Oh, I'm not Everyone saying it. No, no, let's no, move. No, no, let's move to Switzerland, or let's move to Spain, or let's move here. Like, oh, it's everywhere. Spain. It's no, no, right? But it's everywhere. Yeah. No matter where you go, unless you're going to go to the outback of Alaska and just live on your own, which Lapland. to me, I'd live in the middle of Alaska. I'd literally live in the middle of a forest. And the only political thing would be us say good morning to a deer every day. I think you know Canada was always on my list to go, but apparently they're really they're really weak as a country now, and pathetic as well. So that's sort of changed my opinion. Very strict on their laws, though. Their laws are very strict. Yeah, but they're not good laws. <laughs> I used to think they were the nice America, but they're not anymore. So I don't know where I'd go. To. Where's nice? Where's nice on the planet, though? Where's nice? Where, where is there? It? Where there's a government that's not corrupt. The police are not two tiers fucking policing. And things like that. I mean, where is that? Please comment below. <laughs> Let us know. And I can move there. <laughs> like Denmark or somewhere like that. Yeah, I'm thinking, I don't know, Sweden's really bad as well at the moment. I think they're, they've got Sweden. some real bad issues in Sweden. I, I think a lot of places have, though, especially mainland Europe, have got a lot of. I think, and we're we're quite lucky that we had Brexit and we we're out with all that shit. But obviously, other parts of Brexit didn't work. For us. <laughs> we're in another pile of shit. <laughs> yeah, we're just another. Our country, pile. Is, our country is always in the shit. Where if we're not pissing someone off, or we're not paying our taxes, or in a shitload of debt, or you know, we're starting trouble that it's not even our fault. We're joining someone else's fight for no reason. There's a million and one things that we. There's a million and one things that we do every single day that just cause a really shit political agenda. And that's why I believe that... I mean, the majority of people that are voting, they're not quite sure what they're going to get out of it. They're just voting because, I've always been I've always been a conservative. I've never left. Or, I'm Labour through and through. Like, See, I, th I think that's wrong. I've voted for both parties in the past. You know, it's got to be what's right for you at the time. <laughs> but the problem is... is you're only, you're only being you. You're being sold a manifesto. You are. It's like being sold a car. You see, it's someone saying to you, "It does this, 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 and this, and this." And do you know? Do you know at the end of the advert when they speak really fast? Shit! <laughs> 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 like, yeah. Do you know like one of them? Do you remember on um, Storage Wars when storage, he used to read out the, so, the the bull guy? Yeah. No, he, he used to read the numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You just be like salt. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I've just agreed to, but I own it. What's in the box? <laughs> nothing. It used to be a, used to be a curtain with nothing behind. <sighs> but yeah, no. We do have an update on hook. Oh! We have an update. Yes. So she's coming on. She's, 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 she's coming on. Yeah, I was with her yesterday. She said hello, Niall. Been uh, to. <laughs> yeah, she did an interview with somebody, and uh, apparently she wasn't a teacher. She didn't lose a job. She works in a spring factory in America, which she no longer does. And she's just started up her social media. She's got like four hundred thousand in one day. On Here we go. Next thing, OnlyFans. Uh, Flicking they, the bean. They asked He's that. coming. She said, she said oh, I'm not going to do OnlyFans. I'm never going to do OnlyFans. All I do is I'm I'm a funny girl and I like making people laugh. And I want to be a comedian. So that's that's pretty much it. Oh, come on. Fuck off. You guys, like, let's, let's see what I first... Because honestly, there's been a lot, there's been a lot of one-hit wonders, man. I just said one line. Look at the West Own Raider, man. He made a shitload of money from... Who? When he made... Do you remember the West Own Raider? Do you remember him? You were, like, do you want some? I'll give it to you. You want some? Oh, that you remember fucking him? little old man at the football game. He made... He's yeah, he made... He made a shitload of money. He was doing... He was doing, like, appearances in, like, out in Spain and all sorts. He was doing... Honestly... Ronnie he, Pickering. He was a, yeah, but people don't realise. Like... <laughs> Ronnie, Ron, like, oh God, people that, Ronnie Pickering made a proper tit of himself in that video, but what people don't realise is that Ronnie Pickering, back in the day, and I mean way back when, was actually proper, was a gangster. Oh, was he? 
He was a proper in gangland gangster. <laughs> I'm only bigger in. Who's like, that? People don't... That's me. <laughs> he, 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 he was definitely, um, people don't really, yeah, making a twat of himself in that video. But I've since found out that, yeah, he was he was quite notorious in prisons and was proper gangster, apparently. Yeah, we also had Cash Me Outside Girl, didn't she, on Dr. Phil. Cash Me Outside, how about that? How about that? <laughs> yeah, she does OnlyFans now, apparently. So, obviously, that's standard. Once she hit Trailer 18. Trailer Park Trash. Yeah, she was, she was the oh. definition in the dictionary. Spill my thing. She was definitely, like, the definition of, like, <laughs> she was Fuck hillbilly through and through. Definitely. I don't, like, oh, I don't know what God. what she's doing now. You, you don't hear her Can- anymore. Cash Me Outside, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a dickhead. Fucking hell, there's some people. I'm, I wonder how many people have, have survived after being on Jeremy Kyle. Because they're the sort oh. of our equi- equivalent, aren't they? Of them. Jerry you know. Springer was fun, though. Jerry Springer were like, I didn't let's say find Jerry out. Springer. I said Jeremy Kyle. No, 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 but I know, but what I'm saying is, oh, sorry. how about how about they? It was Jerry Springer, wasn't it? It was Jerry was Springer. It? I thought it was Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, yeah, but they're all the same. Jerry Springer, Dr. Phil. Yeah, Obviously, back in the day, we had Trisha, and then we had Jeremy Carl show. Yeah. Trisha was similar. Yeah, not as bad. Jeremy Carl was like the trailer. He's a liar! He's a fucking liar! <laughs> <laughs> He's cheating on you! Have a, you have the DNA results. Let's get those all-important DNA tests! <laughs> He's not your dad! Brian, your mum is your sister. What? <laughs> they had those poor, honestly, and I, I'm talking from the people that went on that show. They had people that were desperate for a night away in a hotel of 150 quid cash. Is what I'm do saying. you know what? I know somebody went on there twice, and do you know what? He, t- he told me, he told me that he turned up dressed smartly in that. They had a costume area. Oh no! And they, they said, didn't. They, Did said they? Do you need to dress more scumbaggy? Yeah. And they gave him clothes to wear to make himself I, look shit. Yeah. And, and how like, much? How much did he get paid? I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't a lot. No. It's they not. they it's basic quid or something. They got put in a hotel for a night. And... Yeah. Oh no. I used to love the ones, you know, like when they do the DNA test and they'd be like, the bloke could have like a t-shirt on underneath his shirt, like who's the daddy? You're like. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Really I won. <laughs> oh, and then they'd be like, "Let's get you to rehab now." And then they'd walk him out the back and get him into a yes. taxi. <laughs> the back of the studio with all the wires and the blank walls. I always used to think, "What what happens when they get to the place and they go, that's 175 quid for that taxi, please?'" What? Yeah, there's no rehab. <laughs> it's just a field. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know, man. Let's get them back in six weeks' time. Been to Turkey. They've all got new teeth. <laughs> Something happened, didn't they? To Jeremy Kyle. I think he, someone sued the, the show, and that's yeah, why. Yeah, that, that's why. For the reason stopped. that you just said. For the reason that you just said, they were making people look bad. That was it. Oh, was it? Oh. It was. It was. A lot of the stuff was potentially falsified, and you know, people's lives were fucking ruined. I mean, there were some bad cheating ones, weren't there? Be like. I didn't cheat. I never did it. No, the lighting tech says he did. It's, it's there. And they used to get right in their faces. It's there in black and white. Right. The wow. cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, what about the time he got, he got pushed over? Many times. And you get, was it, was it Steve or something? The big bull geezer, yeah, Steve. Steve, yeah. They come out and go, <laughs> Just like a gorilla stood in the corner, like ready to fucking pounce. <laughs> oh God. That was terrible. But yeah. People were, they were addicted to it because it was so shit that you had to wash. Uh, watch. I used to, what? Yeah, you had to they wash. They did after need to wash. Sure. They needed to wash. As I well. felt I need to wash after it. <laughs> it was one. Of, it was one of them shows that you was. You never really told people. You you never told people you watched it. <laughs> you felt dirty while you're watching it. <laughs> it's had two showers. <laughs> it's a strange one though, isn't it? That's why it went. But then he was. He was a fucking massive addict. Gambling, drugs. I bet he cheated on his wife. Probably did with half those skanks that came on the show. Mm. Oh, mate. Come on, come on, Jezza. Get uh, out. <laughs> jizz. Oh, get, give me some Jezza jizz. 
<laughs> Fucking Joe. But Hello, yeah, my oh. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the one tooth. The one tooth. <laughs> Most of them had a couple, didn't they? That was about it. Oh God. Space, spaced out. Catch me outside. How about it? <laughs> oh, oh dear. Fucking world we live in. Yeah. That is that is classic distraction techniques 101. They should bring that back just to distract the country. However, yeah. they should put they should put the Jeremy Carl show on an hour special on Friday nights because I'm telling you, people would be so up for like really proper hardcore problem shit. Friday nights, everybody would be into that. Hmm. Kind of like Blind Date. Bring that shit back. All the old shows and nostalgic shows that actually worked, <clears throat> that were good. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go good. higher or lower? <laughs> <laughs> go higher, please. Come on, oh. Bob. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, um, I don't know. It's cold, now. It is cold. It is cold. There is a storm over the islands of the Caribbean. Oh, the American. Storm of the Caribbean. Not pirates. Storm. <laughs> it's hitting. People. I mean, wow. Did you enjoy summer, by the way, the two days we had the other week? We had we had Monday to Saturday. And then Sunday was cold. Um, Monday was, was freezing cold. Yeah, Sunday I was, was cold. I was at Santa Pod going deaf. Listening oh. to the car. Zoom! Sun racing and all that, yeah, it's pretty cool. Did you see that? Was the jet car thing still there? You know, the one where people stand behind it and all the smoke comes out, the big flame one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was in the fucking toilet when that went, I missed it. I thought an aeroplane was fucking flying over my head, and I come out and I said, What was that noise? I said, Oh, that's the jet, the jet car. And I'm like, For fuck's sake, I went to see that one, but yes, yeah, so I missed it's like, it. So, it's not even that fast. It fucking sounded it. It sounded like there was a fucking RAF fighter jet flying over the toilet. Yeah, just that shitty car, mate. Shitty uh, car. But people stand in a barn behind it, don't they? And they catch the, all the smoke fills up the barn. And people fucking love standing there. I was like, I remember being there when I was a kid seeing that. I was like, these uh, people are just no, breathing all that shit in. There's no barn now. It's on the track. Yeah, the straight tracks. It's two drag tracks. Yeah, yeah. But it bends around the corner to get to the start. It's, there's no barn. Uh, there used to be like a shelter thing that people used to stand in behind uh, the no, takeoff not, bit. No, not anymore. Health it's and safety. Health and safety now. <laughs> cut that bitch. Health yeah, and cut. safety ruined everything. Yeah. So what were you doing there? You just went to see the cars. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'd never been before. Just sat upon raceway. Nice. Yeah. I had a nice burger and chips. Very oh. nice. Fucking Brilliant. well nice. Like steak burgers, they were like this fucking thick. Mm, Four fifty. Well good. Four fifty? That's good for an event. I know. I had all my meal What's and a coffee for a tenner. It's like fucking hell. Oh I'll drink to that. <laughs> plug, plug. Put it in the bath. <laughs> no, it's got a pen sticking out of his. <laughs> it's it. Mine says FC UK. Yeah, because I don't want to swear on it, Niall. And I don't want to put an asterisk because it looks stupid. Yeah, but so, why, did you put, why, did, why did you not swear on it? That's fine. I did have in the past, but I thought, no, this time we'll be professional. We'll try oh. and grow up a little bit, even though we're not really. Oh! Just... oh. But... What else has been going on for me? What have I been doing? What have I been doing? Um, not a lot. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I'm going on holiday. I know that. Oh my god! Another fucking trip. What? When do I go on trips? You went last You're week. We your brother. That wasn't a holiday. That was a. That was an expedition. Ah. Uh, that was like climbing Everest. Carry on. You tell me your story then. Where are you going? When are you going? I'm going to Espana. Oh my god! A couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks, mate. Right? Get on that plane. Get my duty free. Six hundred fags in Golden Virginia. Lay on that beach. Go bronze. Get me some cooking oil. 
Oh, nice. Cook it. No, I'm, you, I'm, not, I'm not a beach where, layer. Where are you going in Spain? Uh, here, there, and everywhere. He's not going to tell us, Kess, we find him. <sighs> Ooh. You might find me or Jay Slater on the way. He's boom, never boom. been fucking found. Oh, they've, they've got rid of... Uh, the police have said, nah, fuck this shit, it's not real. We have to get friends and family to look for him now. <laughs> I I was shocked they called off the search. Well, it's probably not real. They probably found him. And now every major news outlet is basically saying that he potentially took a £12,000 Rolex, Rolex watch. Rolex, I saw that this afternoon, yeah. Not the watch, oh. but the story. <laughs> and then they're basically saying, look, they've tracked down one of the guys that was in the Airbnb. The Airbnb guy has basically come forward and said, he came in fine, he left fine. That was it, pretty much. Mm. What I want to know is what a 19-year-old boy is doing in the mountains in an Airbnb with two blokes. Is that who was he was with? The, the ones that took him? Two blokes from the UK, apparently. was in oh. the mountains with him. Uh, whatever reason it might be, I, no one knows. Like you, you're not going to speculate. No. But what was he doing there in the fucking first place? No one's answered that question. I people have said like he's people said he's back in the UK. So, you know, the conspiracies are fucking amazing. The family have come out now and said we're really upset by the conspiracies. However, though, they're not stopping spending that money though, are they? So the they still want to draw and like they still want to spend those ben- yeah, spend them Benjamins though. The dad's not the dad keeps walking away from interviews. He's in he Paris, walking. probably. I I honestly think this is going to come out and it is going to be... I don't think it's going to end well. I really don't. But I want to know what the family are up to. I really do. I'm not trying to... Con- I don't want to keep my own conspiracy out there, but what are they doing? Why is their first thought the finances? What, what sort of family are there, first of all? Are they like Chavi family? A normal family? They've all got jobs? Or what? <laughs> you chubby family. What do you mean a chubby family? All right, all right then. A, benef- a benefits family. Fucking hell. Um, I don't know. I don't because, know what Because like, Mad- Madeline McCann's mum and dad were very high prestige doctors, yeah? And no one ever thought, or we did, but like the, the people in the media and that never portrayed them as being like killers or rip-off people. But they did people, eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After 20 years of fucking not finding her. But this family, it seems that they've jumped on this straight away saying, oh, there's something dodgy there. I mean, I don't know who even what the mum looks like or the dad looks like. I've never seen any interviews, so I'm going blind on this. So I just wondered what the op- like opinion is of the said family. I, I'm not... So I've, I've seen mum and dad. They look... I mean, they're on holiday. The mum, the mum looks like she's on holiday. She's mm. been spotted at the beach. She goes down to the beach and stuff. Maybe he's there. So, <laughs> in the sand, you know. Just his no, head I, no, no. She's been lying <laughs> on the beach. Lying on the beach. She's been questioning, "What are you doing, having a beach day?" I'm taking a break. That's what she's saying. I'm taking a break. Right. If you're looking for your missing son, you like, won't be taking a break for years. Finances, for example, why are they concerned about the money of other people's money? It's nothing to do with them. It's not their money. People have set up this weird GoFundMe that's raised the exact amount that he could possibly owe. Here right. you go, people. Ransom. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, his mum's making withdrawals of going, yeah, I need cash. I need it. You know. I need his sunglasses. <laughs> what, what What do you need it for? I'm flying family members out. Okay, well, you know, I'm sure if they're that hell-bent on coming to help you search, then they can afford their own flights. Yeah. You know. A flight, you can get a flight to Tenerife for about 150 quid. Like, you probably could, yeah. Why is she drawing substantial amounts of money out of this thing? It, I don't know. Uh, the guy came on yesterday, you know, the guy that basically was like, I'll find if he's here, I'll find him within 72 hours or whatever. Uh, Mike, I can't, was it Mike or somebody? Or well, Liam Neeson, <laughs> taken. Practically Liam Neeson, yeah. I'll he thinks he's Liam Neeson. <laughs> I'll find you. I don't know who you are. Where yeah. You are. <laughs> that's what I'm saying whatever it, whatever's happened to him I think by now I think it's no good I think something's happened however if he ends up doing a Shannon Matthews on us and he's under a bed in a flat you know 
then who knows the best place to find out all the latest information is tiktok tiktok is amazing i see so much shit on there any news story people oh, make, people are okay. making tiktok oh, videos of it the people who are obsessed with every sort of topic let's make Quick a tiktok break. video <laughs> it is it's fucking amazing hey i think i've seen comments on some of the miss on some of the actual news articles come to my show come to my page tonight jay slate is doing a live at nine o'clock <laughs> Really? <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Let's put that as our next header that he's on our next week's show. <laughs> see if it gets see if it gets our views up. <laughs> yeah, chatting with Jace later. <laughs> oh God. He, I mean it's awful really. You shouldn't really joke about it. You but... shouldn't joke, no, and if it is a serious like if he is a genuine missing and stuff and he's died, then I, enough. I sadly think it's his I sadly think something untoward has gone on and He's no longer around. It's his own fault. He's a criminal. Okay. Yeah, no, I see bollocks. I don't think that opinion at all. You don't think it's why, criminal? Why? No, I'm not saying I'm not saying he hasn't got a criminal past. I'm not saying what he's fucking hasn't done. What, what he's he doing hasn't done. Drug, he was, he was I, drug running with Lucy, apparently. Allegedly. You see what I mean? You're, you're, you're TikTok through and through. You're literally, all those TikTok conspiracies are in the back of your head going, he fucking did it! Nobody uh, knows. No, Holly told me. TikTok didn't tell Holly. me. I didn't do any research. Holly did research for me. So shout out to Holly. No, thank you, Holly. Holly who? That's, that's my friend. She did my research for me for Jay Slater episode. <laughs> so, yeah. Either way, <laughs> it is going to end however it's going to end. Just l listen. Got more chance of having a fucking semi decent government tomorrow than that kid's being found. They always say it's all they're... bad though, isn't it? It's all bad at the moment. There's nothing it's good, even a football. It's shit. all politics in bullshit. In the shit. I mean, oh god, do you know what I love the foot? I loved some of the um I love some of the news articles on the day after, on the Monday morning, of basically fans walking out of the oh, yeah, fans see walking that, out that for 80 like... minutes going going. Yeah, the shit. They're always going to be shit. They'll never win anything else. Imagine yeah. how he felt by the time he got back on the train with his little Big Mac meal and was like, oh shit, I was just at that game. And, oh shit, they won. They were trying and to I'm... get back in the stadium. They wouldn't let him. I fucking blame them. You fucking glory hunter. I won 20 quid on that night. Fucking Jolly Roger. I had money on, uh, who did we play? Slovakia to win, yeah? Good odds. And I cashed out with... Like eighty-eight minutes gone, I, I cashed out of like thirteen pounds, yeah. But I had Slovakia to win, and also England and Slovakia to draw after nine minutes, yeah. So I cashed out early, got my thirteen pound for that for the Slovakia win. Then obviously England scored in the night in injury time. It was then drawing, so I got another seven quid. <laughs> I'm clear. Result. Two pound bet. Result. One pound each bet. Thank you so much. I think bookies made a killing that night uh, everybody's bets lost i reckon everybody's bets lost by yours but then no one predicted what was going to happen oh, no. i honestly think saturday we're done for there's no way we're doing any good on saturday i'm putting a bet the, on Swi switzerland to win because the performance is terrible honestly i've seen better charity matches than what? this football 14 to 5, Switzerland to win. 2 to 1, the draw. <clears throat> so, what's, the, what's, what's the odds of England winning? 6 to 5. So, bollocks. If I put a, let's have a look. If I put a pound on England, yeah, I win. I get £1.20. Pound pound 20 on that. If I put a pound, pound, on. pound on Switzerland, I get £3.80. Well, I'll get £2.80 extra plus my pound back. So at the moment, Switzerland the odds, gonna, is, the odds are shit. Pressure. So I'm not, I'm not bit, um, betting on anybody at the moment until someone scores first goal. <laughs> You're waiting for them 300 to 1 odds. <laughs> odds, odds. <laughs> hey, it's coming, some, people. I win sometimes. So I can't mind, really. I just think it was a, but, it's a fucking shambles. They're, honestly, some of those players, like, all, all I think is about the players they didn't take. And I bet the players they didn't take are going... Fucking laughing. They're like, honestly, lads, what were you doing? You bear in mind, right? You've got to remember that 
all those lads that are out there, the weather's not that great where they are. No. Like, they, they technically all should be on holiday by now. Mm. And by the time this tournament's over, they've not got that long before they're back in pre-season training. Well, the clubs will be back in pre-season training if they go all the way and like till next weekend. They're pretty much back the same time. So then they've got to then have a, their hot their break. So they're going to come back. Well, this is about the season. It's going to disrupt all the like, clubs. And I think as well is that I think it's going to take a lot of shine off these players that have played shit. Oh, all yeah, these players that are, they've all been bad. Yeah, none of them have been good. Some of them, I think, like honestly, I know people scream about Kane. I think he's fucking terrible. I I think the ma I blame the manager because all the players going into this tournament have been amazing for their clubs this season. They've won like mm -hmm. player of the season, player of the, the club or whatever, and they've all gone there and they're like, oh, right, we're going to play cardboard sideways football that's really boring and not attack. And it's they're like, probably pissed off. That's the manager's I reckon, fucking fault. I they're reckon great, somebody's. Oh, he's a wanker. He's, a, he he's always been. A He's, he's always been a pussy since fucking Roy Keane took him out. <laughs> like, it, to me, it's just one of those things that I reckon they're pissed off. They don't want to play. They're literally like, listen, I should be in Dubai right now, living it up, and I'm fucking out here with these dickheads in Germany. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to be here. No. I, I honestly think, like, if you're going to get in the final, if they manage to scrape it, Every fan out of the woodwork will come out, you know, let's cheer at our boys. Let's do it, lads. Well, we should, Soon we, as should I... we should get in because the, the draw is very favourable to our side. We should get into the final, but then it depends. And then when we lose, everyone will be like, yeah, same old shit, different day. <laughs> they never win. Exactly. Like, I don't, honestly, I don't know why every year England is such a favourite to win. I really don't. Like, it's not me being non-patriotic or anything, but we always put on a shit performance at an international level. I know. We like, we're players, fucking... But we don't have the manager, I don't think. Or yeah, but they people... don't work. They don't they're... work as a team, I don't think. No, they don't. They're all individuals that are put together to try and create something special. Try and create the best team. Yeah. Whereas, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about England, but I just don't get the hype of why people think we're such a threat when it comes to, you know... No. comes to international football, I don't think we're that much of a threat. I think World Cup, like, everybody's got a chance, you know. Yeah. But Euros, man, Jesus, man. We, like, some of these, some of the games, I mean, Sunday's yeah. game was like watching fucking paint dry. I turned off for 20 minutes. No, not that game. I did watch that game. The last, last week's Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I turned that off for 20 minutes left. I was so fucking bored. I thought, no. Nah. Denmark game, 0-0. I just thought fuck it is, that. It is literally a kick around, isn't it? They're just it's shit performance. Yeah. And you just like they're just passing. They're fucking they're losing possession left, right, and centre. Oh that's pretty just, much it, people. No, I've got some more stuff. Can I just apologize? Oh he's got some more Apologize for the council estate dogs that are barking because no one looks after them and they just leave them in the garden. Ignoring them while they're fucking smoking their cigarettes inside, reading a newspaper, the Sun newspaper, while drinking Stella <laughs> before they beat their fucking wives. But anyway, that's what the council is telling hey, people are like. Stella are giving out free hats at the moment, though, with a crate of six. So, <laughs> what if hat? you want, no, they're giving out. So, if you buy a pack, if you buy six cans of Stella, yeah. you get a free hat. Okay. So. You want to free Stella out, people, to cover up them, to cover up them black eyes <laughs> and the bruises. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Go and get one. Yeah, Stella. Not... I think I. I don't know why Stella's such a got the name for itself though. A wife beater, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. Yeah. I think strongbow. I think the strongbow demographic are worse. Yeah. I don't. know. I think they're both quite equal. It, it is weird. I think Stella's slightly stronger, isn't it? Stronger alcohol. No, volume. but I honestly, these might like. I feel. Like if you drink a pint of Strongbow and Black, you're fucking, you're a, you're a fucking you're oh, a wrong. <laughs> you're honestly, you might as well drink a pint of Diesel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or Carlin, Carlin. If you're a Carlin demographic, you've got less than six teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a Foster's man. 
when I drunk beer before I spewed over everybody and then I've never drunk it since. And everyone, I don't get it. People like, yeah, Foster's is piss. Like, piss water. Yeah, it's still nice. It used to be nice. I, I, I don't like it now. Oh, yeah. I I'm, I mean, for me, I'm not just... Someone's like, you want a beer? A beer's a beer to me. I get, I get it. Many people are going to be like, you're not a bloke if you think a beer is a beer. Yeah, you got but, beer, you got ale, you got stout, you got lager, and it's like, it's all beer, isn't it? <laughs> It's all beer to me. In my eyes, like, I'm not, it's all fucking beer. Cider, like, cider, whether it's mixed berry, pear, apple, peach, strawberry and beer, lime, it's still cider. Beer for me, I am a very, very non... I like a beer, but like I, I, I remember saying, from what, I got a present for my birthday, I got a pack of four beers, and that, I've had two of them. Yeah. Both on, both on separate occasions, both just small bottles, and... Um, It'll take me probably about another two months to have the other two. Oh, fair enough. Like, I'm not, I don't know. Do you know what someone go out and buy a pack? Is, I can't drink beer out of a can. If you drink beer out of a can, you're a fucking weird. <laughs> Do you know, like, proper suppers. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, let's talk about one more thing. Yeah. Before we go, on a serious note, on a good note, I have stuff still. You carry on. I I've got stuff still. Go on then. I want to talk about legacy. Yeah. For for what? For you. Let's talk about right. Let's talk about you, and then we'll talk about me. Okay. Legacy. Your legacy. What do you want it to be? What do you want people to remember you for, or as, or who you are? Does it match? Does legacy matter to you? Do you? Are you bothered by it? Are you bothered that people remember Mickey York or Sticky Mickey or Sticky Mickey does Slicky Slicky? You know. Um, does it mean anything to you? Like, do you want to be remembered for what for? Do you want, you know? I'd like to be remem- remembered for being a nice person, always looked out for people, was honest, loyal, and pretty much it. To be fair, nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing bad. Just like, oh, Mickey, he was, he was a good lad. I liked him. He was nice. Yes, yeah. yeah, I think. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you've got hundreds of hours of content that people will, you know, will, will be out there for. A, Forever. Someone might, Forever. someone might stumble across this podcast in forty years and be like, randomly put it on. And be like, what are these two dickheads up to? What are they talking about? <laughs> It'd be funny. Come and yeah. find us if you listen to this podcast in four years' time. I'll give you a grand <laughs> if you do. If you come and find us and says, "Deuces, <laughs> fuck off." Although <laughs> so, to Niall, we'll give you money. Mickey will be in a retirement home in about forty years' time. <laughs> I'll be eighty-five. Probably will. No, 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 I'm living in a garden with the fishes. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> no. you, what do you want your legacy to be then? I don't know. I just want to be remembered for just not taking things too seriously. Um, enjoying the little things and just yeah, realizing that nobody gets out of here alive, alive, and that not everything's going to plan out how you want it to be. But I think it's not about it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. As Ooh. cringe as that sounds, and as as you know, as poetic as non poetic as that sounds, Tick. it is li- it is literally about enjoying. It's about enjoying the rainy Mondays, having yeah. beans on toast with somebody somebody that you love, or mm. you know, it's about having a coffee with a mate, or it's about losing your keys on the roof of a car and. It's about all those stupid things that in years to come you'll go, remember when I did that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't I don't believe that it's in material things. I don't believe like I don't believe you can buy anything that you're ever gonna give a shit about. Um no. I just believe, yeah. It's about having a it's just about enjoying the ride. Literally having a good go. And when you when it's time to play your highlight reel and you're on your deathbed, you'll go, I didn't leave anything on the table. Yeah, I took it all. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Go on, Mickey. What are you yeah. going to talk about? So last week, as we ended the podcast, I was going out with your brother, weren't I? 
Yeah. Yeah. On a date. On a date. Yeah. Uh, Can- yeah. C- candles. <laughs> Spin that funny. Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah. It was. Um, yeah. So we went to a location that has previously been open to us to get into, and your brother has tried to get in there twice before. And I said to him, third time lucky, Ben, as we were walking down the road towards it. Well, the big metal fences are still there, but they now have um, cameras that the security remotely talk to you via these cameras and shout at you. (laughs) So (laughs) we were shouting that. They've also got padlocks on now as well, so you can't even try and sneak past them. Is it one of those things on the tripods? Like the big speaker things, or is it? it? it no, it's a big like uh, triangle thing with a big pole up, and it's got like six cameras coming off all different directions. And Just knock it over. <laughs> no, it was inside. You, it was inside the the, uh, the site. So we were outside, and they were shouting at us. I was going, I was taking photos. <laughs> It's a fucking joke. So um, we're walking around the whole fucking site because the fence goes all the way just to have a look. And there's fucking these camera pods everywhere. And it's like, oh my God, that fire they had beginning of this year really took a toll. And now they are fucking shit hot on that. Which is really annoying wow. because they're never going to do nothing with it. They're never going to renovate because it it's going to cost millions. And it's been like the same way for that I've ever known it. So like 20 years, at least 20 years. So, wow, you didn't get in? No, we didn't get in. So we went Crispin's instead. Had a look around there. Found out some some uh, some loopholes, as we say. What do you mean? I, th- I don't know, no. I don't know. I don't know what okay. you mean. Some, loop- some loopholes in getting in. What? Well, on that note, people. <laughs> Mickey didn't get in. He never right, gets it in. We didn't get anywhere. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on another da- show of Dads, Lads and Kebabs. Political agenda? Are you Labour? Are you Conservative? You might be Reform. Who knows? We didn't get in. All we know is that the party goes on. It's all still going to be a shit show for years to come. Yeah. Enjoy life. Enjoy the little thing. What's your legacy? Deuces. And fuck off. Boom!